what can I, I can assume to be the corn. Corn does very well in this matchup. Obviously, so much range in front of her to um, touch the Lucas. And that one does not have a lot of lag. That's definitely a very good bait by G Rain. Oh. So, this is a, kind of a difficult matchup for Lucas. But Lucas does have one thing in this matchup that makes it kind of bearable. If he does Nair and, and uh, Corn's trying to recover, she will die. Oh, yeah. Every time. It's. it's it's kind of crazy how like effective it is. Wait, those multi hits do have that semi spike property. That is a walk in the park for G Rain. Almost. All right, he almost made the dream real. Yeah, this trying is to get it done. The, the walking combo video, as it were. And Frozen having not really built up a lot of percentage into G Rain right now. Usually, totally being dictated by this small child as he just maneuvers himself around Smashville and is constantly forcing the battle to these ledges. But Frozen getting himself back in the action, putting out plenty of aerials to check G Rain's more fleshy options. And at they a very strong start by G Rain. Frozen coming all the way back and getting the set lead himself and almost takes it with that pin. Saying G Rain is very close to the Belasso. A lot of Lucas's will opt to do that detail and then immediately um, just grab afterward. Just because it is one, difficult for the opponent to react as to what to do after the detail. And two, because if it does trip, it is an absolutely true string. Really smart recovery from G-Rain, just opting to wait for the reaction from the Dragon Pin from Frozen. Also, almost killing. And while it is one of the stronger options out of Frozen Zero Arsenal, uh, I feel like it's not going to be really much unless we see it come out of a throw. Going all the way off the stage now is G Rain. Going to have to recover with that upbeat. Frozen not up to go for it. Oh, he went straight to that platform and got right past that pin as well. However, that pin will be able to take his first stock. Dragon Lunge finally coming through for Frozen as he takes the lead. However, he is still at 97%. Oh, what? And the PK Rocket coming through. What? PK Thunder 2's hitbox reaches under the ledge for both Ness and Lucas. A trick that really, that's one of those once a set, once a tournament kind of tricks. And it came through to bring G-Rain back to dead even with Frozen. That is just G-Rain absolute character knowledge. This man dedicated to, to Lucas. Um, and it's just, it's showing really the, the amount of uh, pace he's being able to keep up with Frozen. It's going to be a Bristol, walk in the park. Oh. Does not get the re-grab off the restand. So Frozen still staying alive. Percentage is staying in his favor by just a smidge. That's going to be another lock. For it again. Off air, into the fair. That's a great conversion by G Rain, getting a whole lot of percentage, giving him the lead against Frozen by a whole 20 foot. Oh, this man is mixing. All right. Oh, no. Don't do it to him. Don't do it to him. <laughs> that was so nice. And this is, I think, may very well be percent for an up throw to kill for Lucas. However, that pin sending Lucas off the stage once more. Had the jump still. We're going to get that tether. Oh, coverage with the Nair by Frozen. Frozen is covering all of these landing options, and it's gotten almost all of this percent back. Almost gets the Dragon Lunch to kill off stage. That's going to be it. it up. Get the throw. Oh, no. I think he possibly could have killed with the up throw right there. I'm not going to be sure. But with all that rage that he had. Oh, it's looking possible here. Very possible indeed for G-Range. Trying to take this game number one. A little bit of a lag. Had the roll. He that's has it. up throw. Spaghetti everywhere, but it's the up throw that's going to kill him. It's going to give G-Range game one. Wow, and G-Rain over Frozen in a difficult matchup. Nonetheless, we have been having a whole lot of very intense matches to start off this House of 3000 stream. Yeah, everyone is coming out to prove their top game tonight because Xeno Saga 12 is coming in really oh, soon. Yeah. Everyone's looking to show that they are ready for it. But we got to see now if Frozen that was going to make any oh of these my adaptations. God. I love the PK Rocket. It's such, it's such a sneaky kill option. Absolutely. We are going to Frozen's favorite stage, I'm pretty sure, from Dreamland. Obviously, the low, uh, the lower blast, I should say, than Battlefield, helping him out. And um, the platforms allow Korn's pressure even better than usual. That pin a bit misspaced, and he's going to allow uh, Jiren to get back to the stage and to get a clean 13%. Now I'm worried about this counter pick mainly because while well, it's a fantastic stage for Corrin and her ability to utilize the platforms to move around with Dragon Lunge, control space, get early off the top, a lot of that also gets accounted into Lucas. Lucas has a lot more landing options available for him because of his platforms. And as we saw in game one, killing off the top is something that Lucas likes to do. 
right? Oh, missing that uh, sweet spot of the pin, though. Definitely a pretty small hitbox, smaller than you would imagine, being how often the corn mains get that, uh, get that pin. Ooh, going for the ledge cancel from pin right there. Just barely missing out on his G range just because of how short his character height is. Now, something you want to keep in mind on a stage like Dreamland, it's actually incredibly difficult to get jab locks on the stage. One, because of the obvious platforms that can potentially get in the way, but also the mechanics of Dreamland's tilt don't allow you to get those footstools, but that back air for Frozen will take the stock for game, or for stock number one. Yeah, I feel like because of that, it's a really smart meta pick, in a sense, because you're picking around the player, not so much the character, regardless of how well this works out well for Lucas. Uh, we saw a lot of the advantage that G-Rain built up was because of those very fancy combos. Nonetheless, g -Rain's still in it with 46 built up onto him already, and not really having threatened Frozen much throughout this game, too. Like, one of the issues with um, with Lucas in this matchup in particular is the... F Ooh, can move here right there? Nice jump by Frozen in that instant pin. Right now, very part of the course neutral being played out by these players. G Rain is trying to space through Frozen, but Frozen's tools just allow him to outspace Lucas so much more easily. And that jerk back by G Rain, allowing him to get all the way back, but a two stock victory for Frozen, saying that game one, it didn't happen. Just let him know. I swear to God, this character has the worst victory quotes in the oh, entire game. No, the best is Melkor is just, I win! I win! Yeah, Numbers likes to use that. <laughs> I win! <laughs> you guys didn't hear that, but Numbers immediately yelled, I win! He's so happy for himself because no one else wants to be. Everybody hates Corn right. except for Corn. TNC, I do love this pick by G Rain. Yeah, you're forced to shield that. Um, not getting cool though and not getting punished that time around. I love the fact that Frozen realized he wasn't going to be able to punish a PK freeze on shields. Yeah. The move has no end lag when it's actually detonated. Oh, yeah. He's such a nice move. Oh, the re-grab by G-Rain. Gets him a whole lot of percent. Already 50 on Frozen and uses Yay! the PK fire to drift back in space away. <gasps> Using the narrative so he could re-stand. And he's just continuing this damage. Already 94%. Built up before Frozen's even able to land anything. He only gets a sour spotted back air for his efforts. G Rain having completely taken the momentum of this game. 111% already on Frozen. This is a spot that definitely he does not want to be. G Rain putting himself on stage. Oh, and oh. Devlin was going for that up smash right there. There actually is a bit of intangibility right at the beginning of that move. Look is up there on my kill if uh, G Rain manages to land it. Yeah, a little bit of range already on G Rain. Oh! This input from Frozen will end the stock all the same. And only 48% built up on G Rain. One has to wonder if Frozen is able to take this back. Right. Of course, with the um, percentage of um, G Rain right now, it very well may only take one pin right by that uh, ledge to take the stock. That pin obviously is full 15%, and it is fresh after all, being that first stock just coming off. We're going to see the forward lunge out of the Dragon Lunge, but it's really not going to be enough. Charged forward smash, gutsy, and not gonna pay off for Frozen. We see. Oh, jeez, I've never seen that actually. Then there in the footstool? No, yeah, that's 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 a new. That's a, that's a G Rain special right there. I feel like that's something that's more DI dependent than anything else. Yeah. And Frozen wasn't particularly ready to. to oh, he's dead. Yeah. Nah, he's coming back. Oh, he's, he's coming back under because it. Frozen's bad. Okay, no, I mean, that, okay, one that was godlike space. Frozen, Frozen, Frozen was definitely gonna pin. He was but, the size of like half a Pikachu, dude, at that point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, nonetheless, Frozen does manage to take the stock off from very slippery G Rain. <gasps> oh, oh, oh no! He's dead! Oh, oh he's G Rain takes it over Frozen, and Frozen is in the loser's bracket. Where did Kill State's in the first bracket. Frozen in the loser's bracket. This loser's bracket. Where'd that stock go? 27%. Nair? Yeah, Lucas's uh, back air, kind I of one of the pivot. stronger spikes in the game. Yeah, no, that just, Frozen just died at like 40%, and he was well above the, where the ledge is. G-Rain right. is super duper OD. Yeah. Damn. It also doesn't help that Korn's up B is probably one of the worst for vertical height in the entire game. No, oh, yeah. yeah, it's definitely not good. For, for the intangibility that it does have okay. in its head, it's... Uh, Jesus Christ. That's just rough. Do yeah, Jiren just like, <laughs> this on me on the arm. <laughs> as a fellow, uh, as a person that was interested in Lucas, I, can, I kind of 
I like this. No, yeah, you got you got to pop off a little bit for that whole oh, set. Yeah, that's pretty four. good. Was there, was there a pop off there? No, uh, he didn't. But I'm like just saying, like Lucas players rejoice because that was just a fantastic display. Oh yeah. You see, Jimin? This man is the consummate professional. He's like, nah, I'm not gonna pop off. That's not professional. That's not <laughs> professional enough. I play to my expectations. I do not need to pop off. This is my pop off. This is down smash. All right, into the combo <laughs> video it goes. Ah uh, yes. Wait, Jen and Ralphie? On Who the let this happen? Um. Okay, so I think H O three K Jen versus H O three K Ralphie. H O three K kill, right here. Um. H O three K team kill. Team kill.